Thanks for tuning in to part two of this week's episode. First up, we have Robert Downey Jr. and Iron Man 4. We got a little bit of bad news for the fans out there that want to see an Iron Man 4. Speaking with USA Today, Robert Downey Jr. had this to say about the possibility of another solo film. I don't think that's in the cards. He went on to say, in a way, it's Cap 3, but for me, it's my little Iron Man 4. And then it's back to the thing we all recognize. Everything pulls over to the side of the road when the thunder of an Avengers thing comes through because that's how it is until it changes, if it changes. Sal, what do you think about Iron Man 4? That's fine. Uh, I'm glad they're not making an Iron Man 4. They already had their chance for 2 and 3 and they totally bombed it. So uh, I think they're you know doing well, especially with the rumors we heard on Civil War. Um, with uh, you know their movies moving forward, so I think they you know caught their stride. Even though Ultron sucked, um, it seems like they're getting back on track. But I think having another single Iron Man, uh, it's a little much. I think just because, like I said, two and three did not you know were not up to par with a lot of people and a lot of fans. Uh, so I think if they can kind of use that energy towards other uh, newer projects, especially like the Hulk. Or, or I mean uh, Thor um, and then the Hulk uh, but if they can put their energy to that and make those things better and make newer things uh, I think that's great for Marvel and you know I don't think they need another Iron Man 4 or another Iron Man so uh, you know if they can sprinkle them in here and there and especially in uh, Civil War will play obviously a very big part that's enough for me yeah uh, the granddaddy kind of the MCU uh, with Iron Man, so he kind of kicked it all off, but unfortunately that ship has sailed. I, uh, I mean, Robert Downey Jr. has not been bad in any of the Iron Man movies, um, but they have been bad movies for two and three, uh, but he, he continued to build the legend of Tony Stark and, you know, cement himself as that character. Uh, so for that part it worked but as films they didn't and I don't really need to see another one um, I never thought they were going to do another one like everything's leading to him being replaced at some point um, Robert Downey Jr. first of all the money he's making is just growing out of control they can't keep paying him that and so you know for all those reasons business and otherwise story wise it's time to move on uh, getting him in um, Civil War was, uh, you know, a nice little thing for Disney. So hopefully, you know, they'll make a pretty good bank off that. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, you got them from the last hoorah in Avengers Infinity War. So you don't need to see much more than that. The once thought to be dead project for the Lobo solo movie has come back to life after reports are Warner Brothers have hired Wonder Woman screenwriter Jason Fuchs to write a script for the movie. Sal, what do you think about all this? Uh, it's pretty, uh, in, I don't know, I was gonna say inspiring, but it's, not, it's pretty uh, reassuring that they uh, are putting this much um, trust in, in Jason. Um, you know, obviously he's done a good job with Wonder Woman, so I mean, rumor has it. So uh, to put it in, put his uh, name onto Lobo, um, you know, it's a totally different character. I think that they revived him because of Deadpool. I think Deadpool kind of springboard a lot of characters upcoming. So, uh, you know, uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure if we'll be rated R, but I think he definitely has the, if any character in uh, in the DC universe uh, has the chance to be R, it, could, it should be Lobo, I think. Um, but we'll see if they go that way. You know, we don't know that yet. Um, but yeah, it's good to see that they put this much trust in them, um, even this early, so. Yeah, uh, you kind of got me on the Deadpool comments. That's what I was <laughs> going to, but uh, I mean, I don't think it's a no-brainer that it's a reaction to Deadpool. I think it's very likely that it is. Uh, this is not the one, but one character in the DC that's very popular for being kind of the anti-hero mm. and uh does have a lot of similarities to deadpool but i think this kind of just speaks more to wonder woman movie than it does to me about lobo movie like you said it's reassuring that uh they liked what they saw in uh the wonder woman movie which is still filming but they liked it so much that they gave him another project 
As far as the Lobo movie, like I said, a lot has to be decided before I could really even speculate on that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just writing a script. Scripts can sit in, you know, development forever. And, um, but it does make sense that they would try to capitalize on the, uh, uh, not the fame, but the, I don't know, the heat off of Deadpool with their own, you know, rated R character. So, uh, yeah, that's nice. But, in, you know, until we see, uh, actual director and the actor is tough because the two people that i would automatically think could be lobo are already in the dcu as other characters and so if it sounds looking confused i'm talking about the rock and jason momoa uh, okay. the, those are the two like i'm like yes yeah, lobo but no you know, it could be um who is just saying machete no he's <laughs> like 80. the one he's, he's got that there's iterations of Lobo that look a lot like him, but I just... No, I know. They're not going to go directly. I, I don't think they will, but even if they did, I don't think I would like it. It's a little too old for me. I don't think he could bring the funny part because Lobo got popular off the uh, Justice League animated series like a lot of mm -hmm. uh, people did, and he was really funny in that. So I don't think Machete could bring that <laughs> type of comedy to it. So... I don't like it, but yeah, Rock and Jason Momoa, I'm like, yes, but they're already, yeah, they're really they're already cast it, so I'm like, if I see an actor, I see a director attached to this, then I'll get a little more hype, but um, I think right now this is a just-in-case move. This is like, let's develop this and have it ready in case we want to strike around Deadpool 2 and, you know, get some of that heat. Um, but this guy also, last point, he just wrote Pan, which was his last movie. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. I haven't seen it, so I can't totally judge, but from the critics and everybody I heard, it was horrible. I know the trailers, when I watched it, I was like, this looks like it's gonna suck. <laughs> so that scares me a lot, but if he did uh, so well Wonder Woman, then, you know, I have yeah. to give him a chance. And that is the episode today. Uh, if you like what you heard, you want more of the canon, give us the ammo by clicking the subscribe button below. I like to thank my partner, Nate Sal. Sal, where can people find us? Um, you can find us at the Canon Vlog on Twitter, or you can find us on Facebook, facebook.com backslash the Canon. And I'm your host today, Terry. Remember, if you heard it here today, it's Canon. Uh, never Back Down, which is probably one of the worst movies ever. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, stop the timeout. I love that movie. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Oh never God, Back that Down. Movie that movie was great. No, it would suck. Oh. Her name was Baja. What the hell? Yeah, Her name Baja was Baja Miller. <laughs> she was a popular girl.